Yo, what's up, people? This is the next Forex Pro, and <clears throat> uh, finally making a new video here, kind of back into the groove. And you know, I know I've been away for a good while, and well, number one, there's been uh, you know some personal things that happened. Um, I'm okay, just mainly a surgery surgery within my immediate family, uh, my pops really, and so I just kind of took some time off, and I didn't really want to do anything either. And I felt, you know, when that happens, you're not really in a good state of mind to be able to trade. So I pretty much just let it go and, you know, got a, got a new, a new, uh, pretty much a new challenge. I was like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, wait for it and go with the new challenge. And, you know, I was already in profit anyways. And today is 11-23-2022. Uh, uh, Wednesday. You know, it's the uh, last day before we head into uh, Thanksgiving, at least if you're in, in the States, in USA. And, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not sure if you guys are big on Thanksgiving Day, but uh, I'm not, I'm like whatever about it. You know, we pretty much hang out with family here and there. Um, I'm not too big on it. Usually, since I'm, my, my background is, is Mexican, we, we do more of the, the Christmas stuff. Uh, that's a little bit, a lot bigger in, in the family, but, you know, obviously I was born here and born and raised in, in USA, so, you know, it kind of becomes part of the tradition, and like I said, although we don't celebrate it as much, we do a little family gathering and whatnot, and uh, it's always fun to uh, catch up, <clears throat> um, you know, in one of those, I think, uh, ICT mentions you know, don't say shit, right? <laughs> don't say a goddamn thing about what you're doing. Because then they're going to ask you what it is that you're doing. Um, and, you know, if things don't pan out as how you want them to, then, you know, you got to deal with it. As for me, um, I'm usually reserved anyways. And, you know, it kind of, it, it, it is what it is. Um, you can see lately here in my account, um, on my trades per day, uh, lots put per day, uh, most traded instrument, rate of return, win rate, <clears throat> all that stuff. Um, you can see my win rate, it's been pretty, pretty awful. <laughs> um, but I'm still climbing, right? I'm still climbing here. And it's been, it's been a crazy ride. I'm pretty much at a 5.4%. Um, literally would just, Two days left of this uh, of, of this thing, <clears throat> and it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm 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 gonna actually message in to my forex friend uh, support again, and I believe once you are at one day or zero days left, you can message them and they'll actually grant you <clears throat> a um. Uh, pretty much more time so hopefully i can get more time in i'm really super freaking close to the eight percent um profit target <clears throat> and if anything i guess that will be my own christmas present right being able to get through this evaluation phase one <clears throat> and so just so you guys could see <clears throat> um you know my my weekly ups and downs um it's it's been it's been pretty crazy right so you know i was going up then went down and you know i'm right back up again and this is pretty much what an equity curve would look like in a, in, a, in a larger scheme of things this is you know what you'd look for um and it's just that's just what it is right it means the the heart is beating so as long as it's moving up and down as long as it's going at an at an ascending angle, then you know you're you're in you're in good standing. Um, today, I'm actually I did take trades here with uh, with pound dollar and euro dollar. As a matter of fact, just right now in this PM session, um, I took a trades here, and you know, as a matter of fact, what's been helping me a lot has been what ICT talks about about getting that one strike, one hit, <clears throat> and you know that has actually helped me out a lot right just staying focused on that one strike one hit being super fo focused and patient and then obviously make sure you follow bias so i have my dailies here with with bias uh mainly weeklies and what i've done too is i also add an arrow pointing up that way i can you know 
make sure where I'm going, where I'm headed towards. And here's my arrow pointing down. Um, if my bias changes, then I'll go ahead and adjust. And then obviously I look at daily bias too. But obviously I'm focusing on where is the weekly likely to expand. And that's the number one question you want to ask yourself. Um, another thing that's helped me too is if you see this uh, lower low to the left, lower low to the right, this is a higher high. You know, this would mean market would be heading lower. And then obviously we do have this fair value gap here. It, it went down into this fair value gap and went right back up into this other, you know, fair value gap so that it could reprice here and then it's now heading lower. So it looks like we're going to continue setting, uh, seeing lower prices to this, uh, probably this daily area here next week. Um, it might just get there next week. Who knows? It may, get, it may take two weeks. Um, and then also, I mean, I know I don't, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this, but I do trade. Um, so I, I have, I have three accounts that I trade. Well, one is demo, one is live, and the other one is, is pretty much the challenge. And the challenge I use MT4, um, platform here. That's my MT4. That's where I place the trades. And then this one here is pretty much with the whole FOMC, uh, meeting minutes that just happened right now. Um, you know, this is kind of the trade I took and just kind of waiting for this to get down there. And you can see I, uh, my entry wasn't so great here. Uh, I could have gotten an 80, an 80 fail. Uh, when I hit the, when I hit the sell button, this thing just moves, likes to move pretty quickly. And that's just going to happen. I know many of us have, have mentioned with my Forex funds that there's, there's been moments where market fill, you, know, you get a crappy fill. Um, I think I've experienced it a few times, not too bad. It hasn't been too crazy. And I've seen that happen even with, um, uh, my other brokers I have, it's pretty much with, with Oanda. Um, I haven't seen, um, you know, some crazy things. It's, it's, I mean, I think it's normal if it happens a few times here and there. I haven't seen it as bad as how a lot of people, others have described with my Forex funds. Um, it's, it's kind of crazy, but. Anyways, yeah, this one, this trade here is obviously a demo trade, and um, I actually do like to do a lot more in the demo trades, and this is kind of like one of the accounts that ICT mentions that this would be the, you know, kind of like the aggressive account. Um, I'm still not there where I have an actual aggressive account, and I figured I might as well just open one up and, and start doing it. <clears throat> um, I do like the demo, though, however, just because I can go in here, kind of get my head warmed up, and... And that's thing. That's one of the things that helps me. I don't know. I mean, about about you guys, but if uh, you know, this is just one of the stuff that helps me out. Um, that way, I can, you know, have that pseudo experience, if you will, and be able to take the trade. And you know, this is this isn't gonna take away from, you know, if you're doing a challenge or whatever. You know, obviously, it's not gonna take away from that. Um, and so. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, this is still the road to getting funded, right? This isn't the road for trading demo. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too much into it. I'm just saying I, that's just what I do to get warmed up and be able to, uh, you know, get my head clear when we come back on, usually when we come back on Mondays, Tuesdays, and by Wednesdays, um, I'm kind of ready to get in a trade here and there. Uh, obviously, there's a really good opportunity, and I really feel... You know, I'm really digging bias as far as I'd say Monday I get it right. And, um, you know, especially if there's no news or anything. If uh, if I'm feeling Tuesday and I have a good good idea where it's going. Because you can see right here it's been a bit choppy, right? And so these are the, the moments where you, <clears throat> you can look at the weekly and just kind of go off of that. Because we've been going higher and higher. And so we can have a, a set bias that this is going to continue going higher. Um, and has it's just it's taken one, two, three, four, five, six, pretty much a whole, you know, span of of uh, of a week and a half, right? Because we only trade Monday through uh, Friday, um, and even then, I actually ha I also have cut off on on trading um, certain days, like Mondays. I try not to trade anymore. Fridays, I also try not to trade anymore. Uh, today is Wednesday, right? So Wednesday is like the prime day to trade. Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays <clears throat> and so anyway so I'm feeling a lot better about this particular uh, uh, challenge and so 
you know, it's just a matter of, of evolving and getting better as a trader. And you can see here, like, being, you know, I, I, I got to admit, you know, being able to do something like this after, you know, what, what I used to be, you know, at the beginning of the year, I, I would have not been able to do this, right? And even though it's just demo, right, to be able to see it, I think it's a big one. Right, because I know I. I mean, I took the. I I did take this. Uh, I took a live here in Euro Dollar. That's the one I was really watching for. Right, you know, got in. Uh, got filled around eighty, and then this thing came down to eighty seventy eight. So I saw like a minus uh, minus four minus five, and change, and was able to capitalize a nice, nice little run here. And so, yeah, and then obviously Pound Dollar did the same thing too um right here and so you could see this one was also the main one to 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 take you know if you got in a 41 fill you barely saw any damage against you and then right away market went back up and you can see it now it's it's up there so um so yeah it's just a matter of holding right um i'm actually going to close this one here this is really where you want to just get out close your points and pretty much take profit and you really got to get used to it because that's where market delivers. You know, 22 points is is 22 points. Who, who wouldn't want 22 points, right? So, you know, obviously I'm talking. I'm not really doing anything, but it's, we're just watching this here, and I'm like, okay, I need to I need to get out. So you can see that my my awareness and skills where I'm talking and trying to do different things at once are still, you know, obviously still something that I got to work on, but that was really the the plan to get out here at this at this area cuz this is this is uh asia session that we took out london session here we came here this was a double bottom that's where we came down into and then i was like all right well we're definitely going to since bias is down we're going to take out asia session and then you can see there it is right there and boom there's a, a delivery and so that's where you want to take profit out so yeah, you know, you get it in here, get a nice 20, you know, 20 points, 20 points. You know, who, who would want 20 points? Um, but anyways, so it is what it is. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, like I said, I, I did mean it when I said um, I'm trying to do these, not instead of like a weekly thing, do like a bi-weekly or whenever I feel like it. Um, not kind of whenever I feel like it. I do want to make this like a set thing, but. I'll definitely keep you guys updated at least twice a week or so. Um, or excuse me, um, uh, every two weeks or so, and just keep going, right? This is this is pretty much the whole thing. Just getting funded. I don't want to. I'm not here as a thing, right? Like I don't want to try to impress anything or, or anyone. Obviously, that was the the mindset when I came into this and started doing these videos. Um, but you know. After getting humble again and just listening to ICT and just someone that's gone through the process, you learn to realize that you just, you want to do this and you want to do this right. You know, so I'm not really here to, obviously if you're watching this, you're not going to expect a whole lot um, coming from, uh, I guess you could say a beginner trader. I mean, I know I've been in, in the markets for quite a while, um, but it's it's not it's not relevant to to what someone can do, right? Like you had there's people that have been doing this for probably a lot longer than I have and and probably have not really gotten any anywhere near um in profit and it sucks. But uh anyways, like I said, I, I'm doing this to document my journey and to keep myself accountable for my own stuff. And so if you guys are, are subscribing to me and liking and commenting then I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna keep doing it. Um and that's it. So thanks guys. Yes, have a good one.